There, of course, during the 2016 campaign was a question about whether then-candidate Trump was not vocal enough right. in condemning David Duke, uh, which he did do, but that was after he didn't do it, and there was sort of sure. some back and forth. Do you believe that there were dog whistles uh, by our now president to white supremacists? I do believe that there were dog whistles, but to somebody like me, I can tell you that that's a bullhorn. I heard them loud and clear. When uh, they referred to globalism, I knew that they were talking about the global Jewish conspiracy. When they used terms like the liberal media, those are terms that we used to use, but we used to call it the Jewish media. Uh, they've learned to massage their language to make but can it more I just say? Palatable. Can I just say, I mean, you know, having worked at Fox News for 13 years, mm -hmm. we used to criticize the MSM. Some would sure. call them the liberal media. And it didn't, it didn't mean that. It meant, you know, left-leaning or sure. people who were not open-minded to, you know, the views of half the country conservative people. That's also the power of their marketing and how they can take words that are hateful and massage them to get them into the lexicon to make it normalized. So you pick something that is okay, a term that is, like, not that has nothing to do with white supremacy, and you adopt it. Right. And to your people, it has a very different meaning. Absolutely. Like with a wink and a nod. To, to the people that I was involved with you know, 30 years ago, that is a, a high five. That is a license to go out and be more violent. The New Black Panther Party. The New Black Panther Party. New Black Panther. The New Black Panther. The New Black Panther. New Black Panther. New Black Panther. New Black Panthers. But can I just say, palatable. can I just say, I mean, you know, having worked at Fox News for 13 years. Mm -hmm. But why do you feel so passionately about the Panther story when there's only eight Panthers? It's because I believe in fidelity to the law. Do you believe that there were dog whistles? In Slate, they have a piece uh, on dot com. Santa Claus should not be a white man anymore. And when I saw this headline, I kind of laughed, and I said, oh, this is so ridiculous. Yet another person claiming it's racist to have a white Santa, you know? And by the way, for all you kids watching at home, Santa just is white. Just because it makes you feel uncomfortable doesn't mean it has to change, you know? I mean, Jesus yeah. was a white man, too. I do believe that there were dog whistles, but to somebody like me, I can tell you that that's a bullhorn. I heard them loud and clear. What is the evidence that the, what happened to Eric Garner and what happened to Michael Brown has anything to do with race? And it didn't, it didn't mean that. It meant, you know, and it didn't, it didn't mean that. It meant, you know. Make but can I just say, palatable. can I just say, I mean, you know, having, can I just say, can I just say, I mean, you know, having worked at Fox News for 13 years, that it meant, you know, they don't want, quote, unequal neighborhoods, unequal neighborhoods. They, it, they think too many com communities are too white, too privileged, with too big McMansions, too many big McMansions. And they, they want to diversify the communities, whether the communities want it or not. I do believe that there were dog whistles, but to somebody like me, I can tell you that that's a bullhorn. I heard them loud and clear. There are very few companies in America, uh, whether they're public or, or private, in which you, if you sick 40 FBI agents on the company and review every email and every document and every communication you can between the employees, you won't find any racist emails, any inappropriate comments. It didn't mean that. It meant, you know, left-leaning or sure. people who were not open-minded to, you know, sure. people, sure. people, sure. people, sure. people who, sure. people who, people, sure. people, people who, who were not open-minded to, you know, the views of half the country conservative people. That's also the power of their marketing and how they can take words that are hateful and massage them to get them into the lexicon to make it normalized. So you pick something that is okay, a term that is like not, that has nothing to do with white supremacy and you adopt it. Right. The New Black Panther Party. The New Black Panther Party. New Black Panther. The New Black Panther. The New Black Panther. New Black Panther. New Black Panther. New Black Panthers. And to your people, it has a very different meaning. Absolutely. Like with a wink and a nod. To, to the people that I was involved with you know, 30 years ago, that is a, a high five. That is a license to go out and be more violent. And that's why we're seeing a rise in hate crimes. Can I just say, can I just say, I mean, you know, having worked at Fox News for 13 years, it didn't, mm -hmm. it didn't mean that. It meant, you know, and it didn't. It didn't mean that. It meant you know. Say, no. can I just say, can I just say. I mean, you, you know, mean having worked that at Fox it meant, for thirteen you know, years.
And it didn't it didn't mean that it meant, you know,